parents. What is the weirdest thing you've caught your child doing? Trying to stick batteries up is a saying that he needed more energy. Three year old took a poop in a pillowcase and folded it up into a small square, tucked it under her pillow. She said she didn't do it. Maybe it was my grandma or maybe the dog. I heard loud music coming from my three year old son's room upstairs. When I yelled for him the music stopped, and he appeared in the hall, wearing only underwear, sunglasses and a second pair of underwear on his head. What? That? What do you even say to that? I'm not a parent, but I taught Daka for 5 years, so I have some good stories. It was near Thanksgiving, so I had all the kids draw a picture of what they were thankful for. We had all the usuals my dog, my family, my toys, all that good stuff. One little boy, about 4 years old, had his picture turned face down when his parents came to pick him up, and I watched this exchange. Mother, what are you thankful for? Kid, looks up sheepishly, and holds drawing against his chest. Mother, what did you draw? Kid, still sheepishly, flips over his drawing I drew the Titanic sinking in poop. I checked later, it was indeed a very artful rendering of the Titanic in the throes of disaster, and enveloped in a realistically colored sea of fesses. True art from a true master. The same kid later drew a large penis on the dry erase board, while I had my back turned and then took it upon himself to explain to a horde of 4 year old girls what boys have going on down there. That was a fun educational moment to explain to the parents. My daughter, who's 5, took a sip of juice from a straw, spit it into her hand, and then proceeded to rub it into her hair like it was hair product or something, right after I'd given her a shower. Why? Not a parent, but when I was 10 or 11 my mum caught me feeling up a chicken thigh that she left out to thaw overnight. That world been kind of okay, but I was um, gyrating my hips and moaning at the same time. My mum came up behind me and asked what I was doing. I told her I was practicing a dance for school. Walked into the backyard to find my two baby brothers, 10 years younger, with their dicks out laughing and pissing on the family dog whom was dancing around trying to catch the streams in his mouth. Probably the most weird family moment I've had. Not a parent, but this one's about me. I hear this story nearly every holiday. When I was 5 or 6 years old some family friends were over for Christmas and brought me a little tent as a gift. It was one of those cheap little nylon ones with the plastic rods with elastic string through them that just kind of snapped together and was just big enough for a little kid. They set the tent up for me to play in, in the middle of the living room. So, naturally, I promptly went inside and took off all of my clothes. I came out naked, stood squarely in front of our company in a wide stance, put my hands on hips, and said how, do you like my penis, italics for emphasis, went like ta point t t ta point t ta. My parents screamed at me to get back in the tent and put my clothes on, so I went back in. But I didn't put my clothes back on. No, I had a much better idea. Instead, I came back out, jumped into the same stance and loudly inquired, how do you like it now? When my son was young, he would sleepwalk a lot. There was one really weird instance in particular, when we woke up to a noise and could not find him. We called out his name many times, but he never responded. I found him in the bathroom, behind the door. I asked what he was doing. He just smiled and went back to bed. Sleepwalking kids are the effing scariest people ever. When my son was two, I found him one night just standing in the middle of the hallway staring at the empty wall. I asked what are you doing baby? He just pointed at the wall and started screaming. When the screaming stopped, he simply lay down in the middle of the floor and slept. He also likes to stand in my room. I'll wake up and he'll just be standing in the middle of the room. He won't respond, move, make noise, most of the time he's not even looking at me, it's so unnerving. A child who's awake will respond or look at you, but a sleepwalking child reminds me of the nurses from Silent Hill, f that. Walked into my 3 year old's room, to find him seated at his toy piano, buck naked except for a necktie and a pirate hat, playing and singing his heart out, I thought to myself, wherever this kid goes, it's gonna be a party. My mum saw 5 year old me playing with my boner. No, not like that. Playing as in pretending my boner was a stand up comedian telling jokes to a bunch of my wrestling figures. 
My father always tells me a story from when I was maybe 4 years old. I was outside playing, and he noticed I was stomping around the sidewalk. The conversation went like this. Dad, what are you doing bud? Me, stomping and dad. Why, they were probably having a good day. Me, well now they are having a bad day. Proceeds to stomp ants. I was the child in this one. At about 5, my parents tried to get me to take a nap, and in true 5 year old fashion I was adamantly refusing. Eventually they convinced me with the conditions, that I got to sleep in their room, queen sized bed, so much better than mine, and our dog Hamlet got to stay up there with me, well I stayed in bed for what felt like an hour, so probably about 2 minutes, before I got bored, went rummaging around my parents stuff and promptly found my mom's lipstick. I decided to make Hamlet pretty, but I didn't want to mess up, so I practiced on myself first, smeared the lipstick all over my mouth slash cheeks, and lined my eyebrows with it. Dad came upstairs, just as I was finishing Hamlet's eyebrows, and I just remember him looking at me, turning around and sending mom upstairs to deal with it instead. My sons are 5 years and 2 days apart good for some things, bad for others. At about 7 and 2, they were playing in the basement before lunch one day, and while they were eating I went to go check laundry or something, and found liquid all over their train table turned playscape. Upon further investigation I discovered it was urine. When pressed, the 2 year old admitted that he had peed on everything, because his brother wasn't letting him play. My wife caught my 3 year old laying on his back completely naked with a toy traffic cone on his penis. When she asked him what he was doing, he looked at her annoyed and said, Mommy, it was about time. We have since started referring to that toy traffic cone as his girlfriend. He doesn't get the joke. Not my kid but my cousin, who's 5, eating dinner last Sunday night when the kid just stops, stands up, walks over to the piano, and starts playing an alarmingly haunting tune. We asked him where he learned it, and he said that it was playing in his bedroom the night before. I had babysat him and his younger brother the night before, and I can assure you that there was no piano music playing whatsoever. Still spooks me to think about. And by the way, he's been taking piano lessons since he was 3. He knows how to play. He wasn't just banging on the damn thing. 3 year old son will lift my shirt just enough to see my belly button when I'm sitting on the couch. Stick his finger in my belly button and just sit there, like it is completely normal, if I try to remove his finger he just puts it back, no idea why. When I was about 5 I believed that, if you sprayed enough hairspray on a kitten it would never grow, and so it would be a kitten forever. Luckily this was short lived point I also really hated feet, and for years I would tell people, that I had a really bad foot fetish, when they would put their feet close to me. I had always thought that fetish meant that you disliked something and thought it was gross. Still to this day I cringe and I was never corrected. My toddler went quiet for a moment while I was in the kitchen and I went looking because I'm not stupid. Found her hunched over like Gollum under the dining table eating a banana. Which, by the way I have no idea how she got it, skin and all. My son was probably about 7-8 months old, he was supposed to be napping in his crib, but instead he reached over to the dresser and got a jar of Vaseline. He opened it and proceeded to get it all over his hair, his face, in his eyes point just everywhere. My son was storing urine in shampoo bottles under his bed, he said it was like his own bathroom, so he didn't have to leave his room, his room is 5 meters from the actual bathroom. My 18 month old son humps mine and my girlfriend's legs sometimes. He also likes putting big toes in his mouth. My dad tells a story about the creepiest thing I did as a child. I had a lot of sleep issues. I had night terrors. I talked. I walked. They had to work to keep me alive and safe while I was asleep. Well, one night, my dad heard some noise coming from the den. He went downstairs, and I was riding my big wheel in circles going la 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 in complete darkness. He still gets a cold shiver when he tells the story. My little brother, when he was around 3 years old, used to tell everybody how big our father's penis was, at school, at the farmer's market, to random people of the street, everybody. My toddler had just started walking, 
and would eat random things from the floor. One day I looked over, and saw the telltale signs of him trying to hide after his newest find. I stick my finger in his mouth and pull out a dried frog. A refining flat, dried frog that he had been sucking on. Totally gave me the creeps for a while. I have no idea, where he could have found something like that. He was so pissed, when I took it away. 2. Not a parent. But I caught my 12 year old cousin dry humping the stuffed animal I got for him, when he was born. To add to the weird, he was watching a Minecraft video. I was so stunned I just looked at him, until I was able to quietly back out of the room. To this day he doesn't know I know I seen him doing this. I don't touch that stuffed animal anymore. She kills ants, all the time. She is sweet and compassionate, until she sees a bug then she saw die bug die oh she sleeps on the floor not her huge bed. Oh and she has taken to wearing her pull up on the outside of her PJS. Whenever my one year old farts her father and I laugh really hard. So now whenever she farts she will look for us, make eye contact, and burst into laughter. I hope she never grows out of it. My son, he's four, has some little quirks. One of them being, that he keeps a bunch of things in this bag, that he brings everywhere, especially to bed. There's lot of random toys in the bag, but once they go in the bag they never come out, unless he's doing some weirdo show and tell thing before bed. The other day, my husband informed me he found two pairs of my underwear in the bag. I'm not quite sure what to make of this. On one hand, only the things he deems super amazing, make it into the bag. On the other hand, I hope he outgrows this. It might be random and quirky at 4 years old but at 14, we might have a serial killer on our hands. Today my 7 year old brother was asking about cars, and what the years mean. So I explained, that it's when the car was made, and that my car is 12 years old. He then asked, if car years are longer than dog years. My 2 year old nephew just randomly shakes his head left and right, and he goes ham. He'd be playing then somehow his head gets involved then he just continues shaking his head. Child, what are you doing? Before, he'd stare at a blank space and say Mew Mew this means ghost slash monster in Tagalog. Then we jokingly asked him where it was and he'd point at the blank space he was staring at. Always creepy. One last weird thing he does is that he loves roughhousing. Always with the kicking, the punching, the pinching, the slapping. His dancing is him jumping. And when he's on the downward, his hand goes down in a slapping motion. The annoying part is, that he jumps towards you to slap you. He's cute as f but this really annoys me. This weekend actually, my 7 year old son had a penny shoved up his nose we almost had to take him to the ur. Uh. His answer to this, I was running, and fell on the bench which had a penny position just right it went up my nose, when I fell. Yeah right can see where this is going, when he gets older. Not a parent but this is an ex-girlfriend's little brother, so I didn't know that kids around the age of 4-7 to seven go through a humping phase. I was just chilling on the sofa with my ex and her little brother. Then he just starts humping the sofa, and staring me dead in the eyes. While he did it, he just kept doing it. He'd hump his blanket, he'd hump his toys. It was weird. Made me very uncomfortable. It wasn't my son. It was me who my parents found. Anyway point so as the story goes, back when I was a toddler I was a curious one and the only way to quench my curiosity about an item was to put it in my mouth. So this one time my mother comes and she finds me profusely bleeding from my mouth. She was sure that I had eaten glass or something, but when she opened my mouth I was chewing on three live mice, one of whose tail was still wriggling in my mouth. They were all small barely 2 to 3 days old. I don't think they even had functional eyes back then, so it was pretty easy. My nephew, who was 3 at the time came to me, and I noticed that fresh just took a sh kinda smell. He was potty training still, so he wasn't wearing a diaper. When I asked him why he didn't use the toilet he said that he didn't do it, and that his 6 year old brother had pooped in his pants. When I asked his brother if this was true, he said how could I possibly poop his pants, but then goes on to explain exactly how he could have pulled it off. To this day I'm still not sure if he did it, but if he did I'm not mad. I'm actually quite impressed. I'm not the kid's parent, but was babysitting. I tell this story often, 
so in babysitting my ex-wife's friend's 6 year old daughter, while the adult women went out shopping together, she says let's play house party, and I agree, so she walks over to me with her hands out in front of her, and hands me the imaginary cake, that she summoned for the party, so I play along, and hold the cake. She says that she's going upstairs to pick out the dresses but that, while she does that, I should put the cake in the fridge. I walk to the kitchen, and she goes upstairs totally out of eye shot. I walk up to the fridge, still with my hands, outstretched like him holding this imaginary birthday cake, and I ask myself what am I doing? Am I really going to open the fridge door and place this imaginary piece of cake into it? That seemed a bit silly, and I was about to drop the imagination game. But it didn't quite feel right just to totally drop out. So I did something easier. I just placed the cake on the counter which I was next to. Physically motioning for it to be happening. Then went back to sit on the couch. Until she came back downstairs. Couple of minutes later she comes downstairs and looks into the kitchen. And with serious attitude being really annoyed at me says why. Did you put the cake on the counter. And not in the fridge. I was like. Uh, sorry, really led me to believe that imaginary thought forms are real in a different way, and that kids are, generally, much more open to that level of perception than adults. Like why they say kids see fairies. Maybe it's because really they're there but not for those who insist on being so mental.